Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Bloodstone is in our background, and they're talking about how long ago we went back. All right, like rocking cheers, just going back, y'all. All right, going to have that playing in my background. Y'all just going to have to bear with them while they sang my song, because that is my song. As a matter of fact, everything coming up, including the BT Express, my song. Okay? So, and low down. Oh, that 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 really is my song. So, we're going to let this play, y'all. Ain't got no junk in the mix. All right. Got to talk, y'all. We got, we got a couple of things we're going to talk about. When loving me wasn't easy. No, nah, I mean, it wasn't easy. All right. We got some talking we need to do because I got to prove something to y'all because y'all just don't get it so we're going to try to explain it to y'all so y'all get it we're going to get off a of bard right now because he's getting on my nerves anyway he, he's been answering my question giving me EIN numbers and everything now because we, we got this, this way of talking you know so we just can't get enough no no oh. sorry long way back Bloodstone. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're going to do is going to put in 12 USC. Want y'all to pay attention. 412. We done talked about this before and before and before, but we're going to talk about it a little bit different this time because even though we've said it many, many times, we don't think y'all are hearing it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to hear it. I also need to correct something, just in case the music is too loud for y'all, because I can barely hear it on my end, because I didn't turn the volume down on my end, but sometimes the system wants to play it very loud. See, that's this one right here. See, if I do that one, then y'all going to hear it louder, but I'm going to keep it down here. We made it. <laughs> just you and me. All right. Let's read this correctly. We've already had the conversation about statutory interpretation. Many of you do not know about statutory interpretation. There are seven to nine general principles of statutory interpretation. One of the main principles of statutory interpretation is when a word is undefined. So if you pull up the definitions for the Federal Reserve Act, you'll see that the word any is not defined. When a word is not defined in a statute, the common ordinary meaning holds sway. Well, what's the ordinary meaning of any? Well, it's called a negative determiner or a non-specifier. Ladies and gentlemen, negative determiner because it doesn't determine which one. It's any. It could be any one of them. So it means a negative determiner. Positive determiner is when it does determine which one. Okay? That's the difference. Any Federal Reserve Bank is not defined. Hold on. Let me make sure you understand. Oh, just you and me. Each other so that we can't let each other go. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to do check. I can't do this no more. But he can do it. Look at him. That, that's, that, that, that's my group, y'all. Bloodstone, I want to I wanna thank you because we go a long way back. Tell them how long we go back. Oh, no, no. We, we, done, go to, we done went that far back, y'all. What I need to do is... I don't need an explanation of the act. I need the PDF. I need the PDF, so I think I'm going to have to go to the first one, y'all. This is called the Check 21 Act. So with the Check 21 Act, I want to thank you, girl. You've been so good to me. That's right. We're going to go to section number three. 
see right there in section number three. But under section number three, we got to go to this section number three. See, this ain't section number three there. It's letting us know that section number three is here. Then we're going to go to section number two of section number three. You can find this definition under 12 U.S.C. 5002. So we're going to go there, okay? We, we, we definitely going to go to 12 U.S.C. 5002. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, that was Bloodstone, and now we got to listen to Blue Magic and them talking about the show that's on the side. I want you all to pay attention. Bank, the term, not word, the term, not word. The term bank means any person. Any person, did you know corporations can be persons too? Any person that is located in a state. What type of state? A state of disbelief? That's correct. Any state and engaged in the business of banking. And it includes any Federal Reserve Bank. So any Federal Reserve Bank includes any person. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all understand it now. I will leave this open. I'll probably put this link in the description so you guys can see the Check 21 Act. That was in 2003 they had that act, but we're going to go to 12 U.S.C. 5002. I don't think I've been to 12 U.S.C. 5002 where they give us definitions. 12 U.S.C. is supposed to be the Federal Reserve Act. Now, I don't do the code thing, but we can go to bank. It's number two. The term bank means any person. Well, what's a person? Hold on. Let's find out what they mean by person. A person means any natural person, corporation, unincorporated company, partnership, government unit, or instrumentality, trust, or other entity or other organization. That's what person means under the Federal Reserve Act. So the act means any person, and it includes any Federal Reserve Bank. Now, I want you all to pay attention because some of you all are not getting where I'm going because you can't read my mind. So stop trying. All right. Now let's go back. Like I said, I hadn't read that before, but we read it now. Any bank, meaning you, can make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent, that means that local financial institution, for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes as here and before provided as it may require. It says what you require for your needs, people, that's what requirement is. For your needs, not for your, oh, I want me a brand new, oh, and I want this, oh, and I want that too. Oh, God, no, I want that. Oh, Lord, I wish I had that. That This ain't those type of requirements, y'all. It's necessities. What you need. Who determines what you need? The government doesn't. You do. But it can't be your want, so you can't have two cars. Now, a family, husband and wife can have two cars. And if they have adult children, they can have a car. But uh, 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 if you're living by yourself, all your extra vehicle, that's on you. So let's continue. Such application shall be accompanied with a tender. Now pay attention to that word. That's your favorite word. We're going to come back to that word with a tender. A tender, not B tender, not C tender. Love me tender, love me sweet. No, not that type of tender neither. Just a tender. That's a legal tender. Why? To the Federal Reserve Bank of collateral. So your tender is collateral. Ha, ha, ha. But go read what collateral is. Now, we're going to continue. In an amount equal to your tender has to be in an amount equal to the Federal Reserve note you're asking for. Can't be less, can't be more. How do we know? Because in no event shall the collateral, the tender, uh-oh, hold on, got to get back to the right line. <laughs> Security be less than the amount of Federal Reserve notes applied for. So your tender, your collateral, can't be less than the amount of Federal Reserve notes you're applying for. The collateral security, so it's not just the tender, and it's not just collateral, but it's also a security. Okay? Oh, this is Don Cornelius, and he's introducing us to Spell by Blue Magic. All right. You must step down a spell on my mind. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the collateral security thus offered shall be your promissory note to your bill of exchange. Now, I want you to understand, because some of y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Blue Magic, y'all hold on a second. Y'all give me a second. Let me pause Blue Magic, because y'all not hearing me. Blue Magic, I said hold on a second, all right, homies? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to hold on in just a second. My computer is not catching up to me, and it's getting on my nerves. So they're going to they're gonna hold on right about now, and we're going to go back to them in just a second. Okay? We'll be right there. Your promissory notes, your draft, and your bill of exchange are legal tender. Why? Because the law calls it tender. Federal Reserve Act, Supreme Court has already said that's law for the United States. The Federal Reserve Act, all you got to do is get the cases together, said the Federal Reserve Act, the Supreme Court said the Federal Reserve Act is the law. Congress said it is the law for the United States. It calls your promissory notes tender. So that makes it lawful tender or legal tender. Don't believe me? Go back and look at the Federal Reserve Act, homie. Now, Many of you guys keep calling me and asking me and asking me and calling me. I didn't ask you for this. You're expired. I got to I gotta reinstall you. All right. Asking and calling, calling and asking. Hey, can you show me how to do this? And I ain't got to show you how to do nothing, mother. I mean, sorry. What I'm trying to tell y'all is if only you understood how valuable your promissory notes are. And when they don't accept it, pay attention. If it's for a necessity, you are homeless. Let's say you're homeless. Okay? Then you go and you take operating circular number 10. You fill it out. Don't ask me. Don't call me about how to fill it out. You do your research on how to fill it out. This is not for me to hand out all the information to you. You're going to have to get up off your lazy behind. That's why I said lazy. And go do some research. You're lazy because you want to ask people everything instead of finding out for yourself. What I'm telling you right now, all of you should have known. So, yes, you're lazy. If you didn't know what I'm talking about, that means you're lazy because you should have been looking at it. Don't sit up here and be asking me for all the information when the information is right there, the same for you as it is for me. I'm sorry. There's frustration because I've been saying this so, God, since I first started doing videos. Those of you who were used to the Redress Right channel, y'all heard me say this stuff before. I ain't saying nothing new. So let's get back to the nitty gritty. Hey, I don't care about no firewall. I'm not shooting for no firewall. Get on out of here. I got a firewall already up. Firewall. All right. We're going to get back to Blue Magic because they're talking about something strange is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, when you tender your Federal Reserve, you have to go through the local Federal Reserve agent. You don't get to change the rules. These are the procedures. So create a letter letting them know you're following this procedure. Write out the major parts that have told you that your promissory note is tender. And because it's in law as tender, that makes it legal tender or lawful tender. And it is collateral and security. And it is for the amount that you are applying for because the law says that it can't be for less than the amount. And it says it has to be delivered to the Federal Reserve agent. And they have to give it to the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. They know what they need to do, but you have to document it. Put together a letter, people. All right. Simple letter, not a letter demanding and telling them what they better do and what they better not do, because you ain't going to get nothing going at them like that. Can I get blood from a turnip? I done tried, y'all. I, I really have tried. But turnips don't have no, no veins like people, so you can't get no blood from a turnip. Ladies and gentlemen... Hold on. This is all the sustitutions, okay? Direct obligation in the United States, blah, 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 blah. We, we don't care about this right now, okay? This is not my, don't want no change of name, Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, but this is your legislative history, ladies and gentlemen. This is your legislative history. See, United States obligations as collateral. Extension of period. The period in which Direct obligations of the United States could be accepted as collateral security under this section was extended March 1937. Y'all need to understand, it's been extended indefinitely, <laughs> okay? And it removed the time limit. It's, that's the June 12, 1945 Act, the one that I keep telling y'all about. It's been extended indefinitely. So your promissory notes are government obligations because the government said it was tender. Shh, don't tell nobody! Because y'all might get in trouble if you tell people about this. Because they don't want the public to know. Okay? 
because the government says it's tender. Don't take my word for it. Hold on now. The government says shall be accompanied with a tender of Federal Reserve notes and the collateral security that's offered, the tender, shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange. Pay attention, y'all. I didn't write this. They did. So they stuck. And hold on. We got two more to do. I mean, we got to skip to the second one. We're going to go to uh, 414. Well, you shouldn't have watched her if she did that. That's why you couldn't do anything because you watched it. You just sat there just looking, mesmerized. I'm under your power. I'm under your power. I'm, I'm, I'm under your power. All right, look, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to talk about authority because there's, there's got to be some authority someplace giving you the right to do this. Let's tell you what their rights are. The Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve shall have the right, shall have the right, shall have the right. Pay attention, shall have the right. They have rights too. Acting through the Federal Reserve agents to grant in whole or in part or to reject entirely the application for any Federal Reserve Bank. That means you. They can reject your application for Federal Reserve notes, but to the extent that your application is granted, the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System shall. Whenever you see the word shall in statute, it's mandatory. Whenever you see shall or must, Supreme Court has tried to say that it ain't because they're talking about statute. We're talking about statutes at large. We're talking about acts of Congress. Whenever you see the word shall, it's mandatory. Through the local Federal Reserve agent, supply Federal Reserve notes to the bank. Remember, you are a bank. What, you didn't understand? What's come over me? A bank, the term bank means any person. You are a bank. Don't sit up here and ask me that question no more. I didn't already didn't told y'all. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, because you's a bank, you's a bank, and they told you you have been approved for the loan, then it says they shall issue Federal Reserve notes. They must issue Federal Reserve notes. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little heads up. The new clients that we're working with, what you don't know, we go, I'm going to tell you. Because we've already received the Federal Reserve notes through the local Federal Reserve agent because we were gullible enough to give them power of attorney to do so, we're going to assume that they received it. And we're going to give them the credit for receiving it. And we're going to fill out all the other paperwork that's necessary. And we're going to show that as a receipt that they've already been paid. Now they're going to have to prove that they didn't receive the Federal Reserve notes. Ta-da! Okay. The rest of you. This is not an issue as to pay attention to the extent that it is granted. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, Blue Blue Magic. I got to tell these people how to get around some things because they, they just don't understand. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, and you guys got to do your own research. It's not my job to do the research for you, Okay. Not my job. I just got finished putting together a lawsuit against uh, cryptocurrency, SEC, and the district court, which I'll be following tomorrow. It's taken me a couple of weeks. Finally got it done. I cannot handle all of my stuff and handle yours too. So let me do something for you if you don't mind. Pay attention. And uh, y'all need to pay attention. Now, there is a problem with the way the act is written. Let me go ahead and read you what the act says. And this is important for you to know through the local Federal Reserve agent. So you're not a Federal Reserve agent, but you are a Federal Reserve Bank. How do we know you're a Federal Reserve Bank? Because they say is it. It says the term bank means any person, and it includes Federal Reserve Banks. So Federal Reserve Banks are any person engaged in the business of banking. Ta-da! So now that you know that, now that you know that you're a Federal Reserve Bank, why not Take your application and give it to the Federal Reserve Bank, not the local Federal Reserve agent, and why not do it as a bank? Now that I have you thinking that way, like I said, it's not my job to tell you everything. You have to go do your own research, so don't call me asking for a consult to explain this information. That's not my job. The last couple of people I've done consults for, I guarantee you, they're going to all tell you, oh, man, I got more than my money's worth. got so much that I didn't even know that he was going to do that. He just did it out of the blue. 
because I've been feeling generous lately. But I don't feel generous no more because it's been too much work. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are a bank, and you are in the same category and class as the Federal Reserve Bank or the Federal Home Loan Bank. Why? Because you are a bank. It applies to you. Whenever you're doing banking business and applying for Federal Reserve notes, through the Federal Reserve Bank is banking business. Your promissory notes, your bills of exchange are legal tender. That's why the IRS cannot refuse it. And all of you who've had somebody challenge your bills of exchange and your promissory notes, you need to put these laws together and go back at them and say, who do you think you're messing with? But y'all are not doing that. Y'all are letting them do this to you. So go handle your business, people. I can only point it out to you that your promissory notes are legal tender, that your promissory notes are legal tender, that you are a bank, that you are considered a Federal Reserve Bank. I didn't say it. This is their law. This is the Check 21 Act. I'm going to put this act in the description. Remember, it's Section 3, Subsection Number 2. Section 3, Subsection Number 2. You are a bank. Ta-da. Now, I got to go. I cannot do this for you guys because it's taking up too much of my time. And lately I've been expending money and being callous, but I'm not going to be callous anymore. Again, many of you think that because you get a consult that I'm here at your beck and call. Do not do that. You, you Man, you will lose all types of privileges at that point. It doesn't work that way. You do a consult, I'll give you the information. If I want to be generous, that's up to me because it's not part of the consult practice. Not called it a, the, the, the not part of the consult process. Okay. Now you guys might be asking why am I playing so much blue magic? Well, ladies and gentlemen, because blue magic is right here. Okay. And we gonna let this play, and we gonna end our video and let y'all get on about y'all business. We want to thank y'all. I gotta go out and start an RV that hasn't been started in about uh three weeks. Don't want it to seize up, and I know three weeks is not going to make it seize up, but I also got to move it. I like the way you move it, move it. Anyway, I got to go move it, and I'm going to go take care of that. Now, I'm going to let y'all go. I hope y'all learn something from this. I hope y'all start using y'all promissory notes. What's the word? Responsibly. I truly hope you all use your junk responsibly. Promissory notes, drafts, bills of exchange. But you're going to have to do some research. Can't do that old research that those other fools were doing because they wasn't doing it, understanding it this way. Use this understanding when you move forward. Okay? Go study it with this understanding. I got to go, y'all, because I don't know what's come over me. Arrivederci.